Tell to my enemies, you had temporary fun. You made mockery. You got happy. Mm -hmm. When you going to accept the fact that God is with us? Yeah. They didn't believe Noah, but it still rained. Churches are popping up. Oh, I forgot to mention, we have a new temple in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> 28,000 square feet. Amen. The parking lot alone holds 250 cars. Yeah. Have a balcony going all the way around. Yeah. Amen. God answered my prayer. I saw that building in 2013. And when I saw it and went looking for other buildings, brothers and sisters that have been around me a long time know how I do. I go church shopping with no money. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I look ahead. Because I know God has an appointed time for everything. And uh, when I first went into that property, amongst many others, in 2013, they asked too much for it. It was bank-owned, and it was too much. But I asked God, don't let no one else get it. Give it to us, first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Three years later, at the beginning of this year, price went down almost over... 165,000 less. Gave the bank an offer. They counter offer me. I said, no. I went up about another thousand. I, said, <laughs> I kept inching. Then they finally agreed. I said, all right. So we was blessed to buy it and they don't have a mortgage. <laughs> Hang on. Amen. God just made it possible because when we've been, while we've been pursuing Lindley Avenue, our new campus, we put all the other building projects on hold. Oh man, we put Mobile on hold and we put Columbia on hold because the new headquarters was the top thing on the agenda. So I'll be glad when we sign that contract so I can do my dance in the contract room. <laughs> Get up and kind of move around a little bit. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we have a lot to thank God for. You often hear me say, I wish I was a millionaire, not for my own gain. People are writing the truth of God from around the world, asking us to come and open up churches. They wrote us from Ethiopia. They wrote us from New Zealand. They wrote us from Australia. They wrote us from Kenya. They wrote us from Saudi Arabia. Everywhere this message is seen, we're not just on internet people looking. People are looking and coming. People look at these other fellows on internet. They don't pay them no mind. Souls are coming in from around the world. And we are not changing this at all. It doesn't matter to me what church or what group change and they got a revelation that you can have five gods and somebody else got a revelation that you can have all the husbands you want all the wives you want we don't care nothing about it we are standing family solid people are writing me now trying to convince me that flesh and blood is in heaven the Pope came to Philadelphia last year and said, I quote, he said, Jesus is in heaven 
with flesh and blood and there's nothing but a man just like him. Pope said uh, flesh and blood is in heaven like him. That's blasphemy. Paul said, you know what? I want to get two scriptures. I want to put two balls on the table. I want to see, do we, know, do we still know him after the flesh? Then I want to see what can't not get in. You got to have revelation to talk about God. And the reason why I can talk about him so much, so long and so loud, I can say like Paul that God hath revealed his son in me that I may preach it. Amen. Among the heathen. That's right. And admittedly, right. I conferred not Wonderful. with flesh and blood. Amen. Listen at this. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and at verse 16. Listen. Wherefore henceforth. Wherefore. Listen at the Apostle Paul. Yeah. Wherefore. Wherefore henceforth. For, know we no man. Know we no man. After the flesh. After the flesh. Yea. Yea, though we have known Christ, past tense, though we have known Christ, after the flesh, after the flesh, yet now henceforth, holy, that statement right there means present tense, right, yet now, now. Mm -hmm. and what else, yet now henceforth, henceforth, after that, in the future, how do we know him? Know we him no more. What? Therefore, know we him what? Know we him no more. All the men that say flesh and blood is in heaven, come tell me that. That's right. Get the scripture of your choice. That's right. And see if I don't peel you down like a sweet banana. That's right. Flesh and blood ain't never been in heaven. Amen. Flesh and blood didn't come from heaven. Amen. God don't even want it up there. That's right. He don't want it up there until he going to change the church. That's Amen. Right. He going to change our vile body. Amen. That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. That's right. So you men that said flesh and blood is in, you blaspheme. First Corinthians. Not some of you. All of you. That's right. You have blasphemed. That's right. Let me show you this. First Corinthians chapter 15 and at verse 50. Yes. First Corinthians 15, 50. Now this I say, brethren. This I say, church. This I say, brethren. This I say, church. That flesh and blood. That flesh and blood cannot. What? Cannot. What? Cannot. What? Cannot. Cannot do what? Inherit the kingdom of God. That's plain. That's plain. That's right. There is no flesh and blood in heaven. No, no. But Jesus is there. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Jesus was there before he was born. That's right. Amen. 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 Yeah. That's it. Jesus was there before he was born. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Come on, jump on Pastor Jennings. I'll take care of you. Amen. Jesus says, God and God is spirit. Mm -hmm. And the spirit have no beginning. Mm -hmm. The spirit is everywhere. Yeah. But that body isn't. Yeah. The body was a local minister. That's it. They'd be in one place at a time. That's right. That's why the body couldn't preach when it was in the grave. That's right. Because the message had to go to spirits. Amen. And when it had to go to spirits, the spirit of the dead starts from Adam on up. That's right. The body can only be in one little place at a time. That's right. But David looked at the spirit and said, if I lay my bed in hell, God is there. That's right. You men, you don't understand the Godhead. You listen at these infidels on internet, and next thing you know, you got two guards in heaven, three guards in heaven. Think of it. Why would God change the church from terrestrial to celestial, and He don't change? That's right. You fool. That's right. 
All of you that preach flesh and blood in heaven, you have blasphemed. Amen. Amen. Not some of you. All of you. All of flesh and blood ain't never been in heaven. That's right. The purpose of blood is for redemption. Amen. Speak is 1 7. In Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. Says what? In whom we have redemption. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood. He lost that blood on the cross. Right. When did he pick it back up? Mm -hmm. When? When did he pick that blood back up? That's right. He shed it. And it's running all in my body. Amen. How did I get it? Amen. By water. Or it take God baptism. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The blood of Jesus run through the church. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It, hallelujah. Amen. It runs Amen. through the church. Amen. Mingled in water. Amen. Come jump on Pastor Jennings. Amen. I'm not a closet preacher. Come jump on Pastor Jennings and bring your flesh and blood. Mm. Listen, I challenge any preacher, mm. any, human, any human, on the earth mm. or from another planet. Amen. Amen. To bring one scripture, I'll make it easy for you. Amen. Just, Just, one. One. Just one. Don't get on internet. I don't want no internet talk. No. Square circle. Amen. Face to face. Amen. You don't even like, you, you don't even have to call me. You don't have to make an appointment. Just walk in. Walk in. Anytime. Any place in the world. One scripture. Just one. That says flesh and blood is in heaven. Are you listening? I got a letter from a PhD, a doctor of divinity. Put flesh in heaven. I make you lick your degree up like a dog chew newspaper. That's right. <laughs> That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. That's right. The devil knew what he was doing. Yeah. A baby in heaven. There is no children in heaven. No, no. No. God got it fixed, so he's going to change the church. He don't want nothing that's mortal there. That's right. no, no. Because it was mortal that gave him trouble. That's right. And he don't want no trouble there. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. So he said, I know what I'll do. I'll make you like I made the angels. Yes. There won't be no marriage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Amen. You won't even be engaged. No Amen. giving in marriage. That's That's written, right. isn't it? That's right. He said, for ye shall be like the angels. The angels. And the Bible said, who maketh this angel spirit? spirit? Anybody say flesh and blood is in heaven is a blasphemer. That's right. This I say, brethren. Do you hear? Still in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 50. This I say, brethren. That flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. Cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither doeth corruption. Neither doeth corruption. Inherit incorruption. Inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. What is it? We shall not what all sleep. What is it? But we shall all. No, what is it? Now this I say, Behold. Brethren. You better hear me. Behold. Behold, I show you a what? A mystery. That's why you can't tell the truth of it. That's right. That's right. Who is the mystery given to? The apostles. The apostles. I want to say approve it. Go to work. Get some Bible. Amen. You're being slow this morning. Amen. He told his apostles, it's given mm -hmm. unto you to know the mystery, but unto them that are without it's not given. He answered. Do you hear this? In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 13, and at verse 10. What is it? And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Why are you speaking parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given, it is given unto, given you, unto you, you to know the mysteries. That's why Paul said mm -hmm. later on, Here come Paul, uh, one of them latter day apostles, mm -hmm. that God revealed his son in them. That's right. You just can't talk about Jesus like he's somebody from the hood. No. You fool. No, no. 
Amen. When you talk about God, this is a very, very, very dangerous subject. That's right. The slightest thing come out of your mouth that's wrong, you can blaspheme against both natures Amen. that he had when he was on earth. That's Amen. right. You can blaspheme against the Son of Man or blaspheme against the Spirit, Spirit. which is the Holy Ghost. That's right. It is given unto you to know the mystery, but unto them... But it is because it but is given unto, unto them, you to, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But what? But to them, to them it is not given. Not given. Not and given. if you that say flesh and blood is in heaven, it's because it ain't given to you. That's right. It ain't given to you. Right. It's not given to you. Mm -hmm. I'm able to say flesh and blood have never been in heaven, never came from heaven, and never will be there yeah. because it's given to me. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yeah, I'm just given to me just like it was given to the apostles. That's right. That's why I'm able to tell you, ain't no flesh and blood in heaven, you fool. Amen. Never was. Never was that. Never, never was that. Amen. And never will be. He gonna change the church. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. All right. 